To mark your students' assignments electronically, your students must submit their assignments in electronic format. For information on how to enable this, please see our videos on creating and accessing assignments in Flow. You can get your students to submit their assignments either as files or as text typed directly into Flow. If you choose the latter, you should consider enabling comment in line. Comment in line will allow the submission text to be automatically copied into the feedback comment field during grading. making it easier to comment in line, using a different colour perhaps, or to edit the original text. If you're going to get students to upload their assignments as files, then you can download assignments in a zip file and mark using Word or PDF. This video will focus on using Word. For information on marking in PDF, please see our other tutorial. Here is an example of an assignment marked with Word. This example uses comments, and highlighting to provide feedback to the student. A guide is available that provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to mark using Word, including an outline of best practice marking tips and how to provide usable feedback and assessment for your students. The Centre for University Teaching offer workshops on designing assessment, providing usable feedback and developing assessment rubrics. Using Word, you can insert text comments to assess high-level conceptual and procedural knowledge. Comments will appear in a balloon in the document margin and are anchored to a place in the document text. In this video, I'll show you how to mark using Word 2010. If you are using another version of Word, please make adjustments accordingly. Place your cursor where you want the comment anchored. Go to Review, select New Comment and type your comment. You'll see that your comments are referenced by letters and a number. To change the letters to your initials or name, go to File, select Options. Under General, you will see Personalise your copy of Microsoft Office. Here you can enter your name and initials and click OK to save. Consider using a bank of frequently used comments for reuse in a separate Word file. You can view these side by side with the assignment to make copying and pasting easier and save time. To view side by side, have both documents open in Word, go to View, select View side by side and the document view will change to something like this. Once you have activated side by side, you will need to remove the synchronous scrolling by clicking this icon. You can now insert a new comment in the assignment. Place your cursor where you want the comment to appear Select New Comment, select the comment from the comment bank, right click, select Copy, place your cursor in the comment that you just added, right click and select Paste. Using View Side by Side, you could also view a marking guide next to the assignment. You can complete the marking guide as you read the assignment and use it to determine the comment you make on a student's work. A blank feedback document for each student will automatically download with the assignments. You could choose to paste the marking guide into the blank feedback document. Or you can include the marking guide at the beginning or end of the assignment. The option you choose depends on the instruction you have received from your topic coordinator. For more information, please see our tutorial on returning feedback and grades to students using the new flow. Another way of attributing meaning to sections of document text is to highlight text in different colours. This will save you time repeating information. The highlighting tool is located on the Home tab. Select the text you wish to highlight. Click on the Highlight tool and select the colour you wish to use. The text will highlight like so. Repeat this process to highlight different sections of text. Add a legend to the top of the assignment document explaining the meaning of each highlight colour. For example, spelling in red, 
grammar in green and sentence construction in yellow. Of course, you can also write usable feedback at the end of the assignment. If you are doing this, you may wish to use another colour to distinguish it from the student's work. Text colour is controlled by this icon on the Home tab. Select the colour you wish to use and start typing. Make sure the colour you select is a reader and print friendly colour with enough contrast. You can also use functions such as autocorrect and keyboard shortcuts to save you even more time while marking electronically. Open your comment bank. Select a comment. Go to File and select Options. Select Proofing. Click on Autocorrect Options. Autocorrect will show your highlighted text in the With box. Give the text a code, in this case I'm using I for introduction and 1 for the first comment. Click Add and click OK. And OK again. In the assignment, go to a comment box, type in I1 and hit Enter. The full comment will appear. Another tip is that you can move easily between open documents by holding down the ALT key and pressing the TAB key. To return to the very top of a document, hold the CONTROL key down and hit HOME. Likewise, to go to the very bottom of a document, use CONTROL and END. You can also use PAGE UP. The HOME key returns your cursor to the beginning of a line. The END key moves your cursor to the end of a line. Thank you for watching. For more information, please see our other tutorials.